Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. I am Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is your weekly twin flame uh, conversation for those of you twins that are in union or are in communication with your twin. Yeah. Um, um, there's not too much I really want to discuss beforehand. I know those of us that are in separation have been going through a lot of ego battles, a lot of ego deaths. And I'm sure for those of you who are in, who are in union, you're dealing with the same thing, just in a different way. Um, and so uh, there's that. It's been, yeah, the energies have been really, really rough lately. Um, but you know, I mean, it's, this is an intense struggle anyway. So, you know, I guess it's to be expected. Um, and honestly, like, I really feel like we're in the thick. A friend of mine, a very good friend of mine said this to me. She mentioned how she feels like we're really in the heat of this war between um, the darkness that wants to control, continue to control everything and continue keeping everything separate and source and the light that wants to bring everything back into oneness. And as twins... Um, as light workers and all that, that we are challenged to help assist God in this coming back to oneness. So there's that. All right. So this is going to be a mirror reading for you, for those of you who are in union or are in contact. And I mean like beneficial contact. You guys are working things out. You know, you may not be officially in union yet, but you're still kind of working through things together. Yeah. All right. So let's get into this. All right, so this is going to be just like last week, a mirror reading for you guys, yeah? Spirit, please bring forward the best... Oh, I'm sorry. First, let me say, let me start over. <laughs> Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the Twin Flame Collective, specifically those of us that are in union or in beneficial um, communication. Please bring forward the best messages for twins in union and or communication at this time. Please give us a current snapshot of the energies of the divine masculine represented by this deck on the left and the energies of the divine feminine represented on the deck in the deck on the right. And please help us understand how they are interacting with each other. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Whoops, I'm gonna start by um, shuffling the deck of the Divine Masculine here. Yeah, so this is for twin flames in union or communication. Divine Masculine. more shuffle for you divine masculine and then I'll cut the deck okay boop, boop, boop. all right divine masculine your energy is set now let's get into the divine feminine yeah yeah <laughs> So, Divine Feminines in union or communication with their twin. Right, one more shuffle for you, Divine Feminine. Deck, boop, boop, boop. All right, so I'm starting with the divine. <coughs> Excuse me. Starting with the divine feminine here. Overall energy, we have the nine. Oh no, no, the six of cups in reverse. So this is talking to me about um, releasing childhood wounds. Okay. Sometimes the um, well, I've been reading reversals lately. And there's no clear cut way to read reversals. Many people say that if something comes reversed, it is blocked. 
That is very, very much, that could be the case. Sometimes lately I've been finding that when things are reversed, it also means that you're releasing something or you are in the process of dealing with something. And so Divine Feminine, for you, I'm feeling like you are in the process of releasing childhood wounds. Conditioning is what really just came through just now. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so, um, I'm really, I'm really seeing this Four of Pentacles here as releasing the clutter. I mean, she's got so much in this cabinet, and she's. Just, it looks like she's got this look on her face, like God, what do I, what do I, what am I even looking for? What do I do with all this stuff? Right? It's kind of like a hoarder energy, and that is coming from this Six of Cups here that you are releasing. You are purging this childhood, um, these childhood wounds, maybe even soulmate wounds. That's entirely possible actually, but I'm picking up mostly that this is about childhood issues. Okay. And then we've got the eight of pentacles. So yeah, you're doing the work. You are doing the work divine feminine to release these things because you don't want to feel like this five of cups anymore. All right. So now this is not reversed. This is upright. So this is still saying that you're still feeling this. You're still kind of in this energy, Divine Feminine. And um, this is like the driving force because this is underneath everything. So this is very much like the driving force that is leading you to release this Six of Cups, this childhood wounds, maybe even past life. Yes, definitely. Definitely past life energy as well. Okay. In your storyline, we're starting out with the Four of Swords in reverse with... The Seven of Swords. Okay, so <clears throat> you're coming out of, well, no, not really. <laughs> I wanted to say you were coming out of this restful energy, but no, you're not allowing yourself to rest in many cases. The advice here, Divine Feminine, is to rest. Okay, because ultimately, with the Seven of Swords here, ultimately, you're, you're stealing from yourself. You are, um, I want to say, betraying yourself by not allowing yourself the rest that you know you need. And this is mental rest also. You need to just work on silencing your mind. Okay, because the more you keep your mind cluttered and busy and... Um, full of just shit, the more you're going to lose out in the end, Divine Feminine, okay? So you have to rest. Take a break. Take a nap. Have a bath. Self-care. How about that? Have a self-care weekend. Shit, have a ladies' night, ladies' weekend. Have a ladies' weekend. A guys' weekend. Whatever. D you know, rest. Declutter. That's also what the Four of Pentacles is saying declutter mentally physically emotionally purge that shit y'all yeah next we have aw the king of cups hmm. i'm hearing that your divine masculine loves you excellent that's very true um let me get into the the clarifier here coupled with the ace of wands very good. So you may have reached a new point of um, inspiration, even maybe even passion, when it comes to your divine masculine. Um, this is absolutely being, is or will be facilitated by you taking steps to declutter. Um, this is also uh, a new spark of inspiration when it comes to emotion taking steps to fulfill you emotionally, okay? The, the king in the masculine energy is uh, action-oriented. So in the steps that you take for fulfillment, and that also includes, um, you know, spirit, you, the work that you do on your path, you have reached a new level of inspiration when it comes to that. But this also absolutely does have to do with your divine masculine uh, directly, 
You know, he's reached a new period of inspiration towards you. You've reached a new period of inspiration towards him. So that's beautiful. You guys are on the same page here. Next, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse with the Ace of Swords. Truth. False realities. False, um... Yeah, false depictions of spirituality, spiritual nature have come to your attention. You have possibly come, this is interesting, but you may have come across some individuals who were touting themselves as spiritual leaders when really they were just pages. <laughs> and you sniffed them out and said, no, no, no. Not in my house. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. What else is there? I don't think there's anything else in that one. No. Okay. Finally, for you, Divine Feminine, we have the Wheel. Excellent. Wheel of Fortune with the Two of Swords. Okay, look. This is another... Another, wow, the universe really wants y'all to rest. But more so, we want you to meditate is what the universe is saying. We need you to clear your mind because cycles are coming to an end, things are changing, and things are going to be going in your favor, but we can't really bring this to you or we can't assure that the, that the wheel continues to turn in your favor if your mind is cluttered, okay? You need to take some time to rest, to meditate, to balance out your mental process. This is the two of swords, but in this deck... This, to me, looks like someone coming to mental clarity, okay? Meditation to balance the mind, to declutter the mind, to silence the mind, yes? And so that's what the universe is asking of you right now, Divine Feminine. <clears throat> All righty. Divine Masculine, it's your turn. We have the Three of Wands in reverse to start. We also have Temperance, very good, Upright, Justice, Upright, wow, damn, Divine Masculine, and the Hierophant. So, you're waiting for something to come in, Divine Masculine, with the Three of Wands here, but it's not coming. Or at least you feel like it's not coming. And the universe is asking you to have patience with temperance because justice is going to be served. And ultimately, you know what's going to come because you have been listening to your higher guidance here with the Hierophant. So the universe is kind of like, what's all this worry for? You know what's coming. <laughs> we have the Nine of Cups in reverse with the Star. Okay, so look, have faith. All right. Now, this is a message that is mostly for twins that are in somewhat of some some communication, not necessarily in union yet, but like they're on their way there. Like they feel imminent. Union is imminent. All right. The nine of cups in reverse is saying that you may have been drowning your sorrows a little bit. Now, this is also actually no, I take that back. This is for this is also for twins that are in union. And we're speaking about this ego battle that we've all been dealing with lately. You may have been drowning your sorrows a little bit, overindulging, or even just indulging in despair because you don't see your wishes coming forward. But understand that you're in a process, you're in a period of healing. And your, the star is guiding you. Your wishes are on their way. You just have to be a little more patient. Yeah? Yeah. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse with ah the King of Swords. So something didn't go right. Something didn't turn out the way you want it, the way you planned. But actually what I'm seeing, right, it didn't turn out the way you planned because whatever it is you're waiting for, Divine Masculine, has not come in yet or has not shown up in the way that you wanted it to, you expected it to. But I mean... One of the first rules of manifestation is to release attachment, release expectation. Mm -hmm. Moving forward, we have 
the Six of Cups. So there, I was literally just looking at the board saying, wait, do we have any mirroring yet? And we do, the Six of Cups. Yeah, with the Empress. Ooh, ciao. So this is your Divine Feminine here. But also, this is you also healing inner child issues. And your Divine Feminine is absolutely helping you with that energetically. But um, nurturing, compassion, and love is coming to you from the Empress. This is, the, this is an environment that is around you right now, and you are really able to heal these past wounds. So both of you, here is your mirroring aspect right here. Both of you two, twins, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, are in a period of healing your inner child. And inner core wounds and past life situations. Between the two of you, between you and others. And that could very well be what you're waiting for, Divine Masculine. You, I, I, per Personally, I kind of hear you saying right now, God, when is this going to be over? When is this ship just going to come in and we can get on with our lives? When is this delivery of <laughs> healing going to come in? You know, that kind of thing. But it's happening. You just got to be patient and wait for it. Because this is not something you can rush, okay? Wow. My left ear is ringing, y'all. Ringing! Okay. Finally, for you, Divine Master, we have the moon in reverse. With the lovers. Oh, that is so sweet. So the moon in reverse for you, Divine Masculine, is saying that, you know, you're coming out a period of, you're coming out of a period of kind of darkness. Maybe it might might be a bit of a dark night of the soul. I don't think, I don't think it's that ex extreme. It's more a period of secrecy or things being hidden from you. And, but what I'm getting here is, it's kind of weird. It's like, you're, you're coming out of this period of where things were being hidden from you, but with the lovers, it's like you've made a choice to not even care. Like, you've made this kind of choice where it's like, look, I don't even care about those secrets anymore. I know what I want. I've made my decision. I'm moving on. If I never find out the truth about X, Y, and Z, I don't give a flying fuck, is, <laughs> is basically what you're saying about it. And that's great. Because ultimately... That's what the universe and your higher self has been asking you to do anyway. So you finally, good on you. You finally took the advice. Excellent. Let's get into your um, relationship reading with the animal spirit deck here. This is a really short video, guys. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the separation video was... Like about 45 minutes long where it's usually like over an hour so that video was shorter but now this one well no actually we're 18 minutes and I'm about to do this this reading so we may reach we may reach a half hour we'll see all right so for the divine feminine I'm sorry divine masculine we have Wow, we have Black Egg. That came out for the Twins in Separation. However, it came out as the Illuminated Dynamic. For the Divine Feminine, we have Panther. Yeah! <laughs> hey! Okay, for the Shadow Dynamic, we have Octopus. And for the Illuminated Dynamic, we have Snake. Ooh. All right, Divine Masculine. Black egg. Boop. Black egg. Speaking from an authentic voice. The truth. The black egg contains one of life's essential treasures. The truth. Inside of it resides no confusion, excuses, small talk, noise, or lies, not even white ones. This living and breathing vessel harbors only that which rings true. When this essence is in balance, we speak slowly and clearly. We are drawn to activities like writing, reading, teaching, singing, or perhaps public speaking. Sounds draw us in. 
books draw us in. The concept of truth itself draws us in. We start asking questions like, what do I know to be true about myself? And what is true about the world? When the energy of the black egg is not yet accessed, we speak from an unsure place. We say things Others want to hear, gossip, or repeat stories to justify our subpar behavior. We might even try to convince ourselves that we have no inner truth at all. The energy of the black egg hovers and waits for us to reconnect. It is available at every moment in every situation. It is the epicenter of truth, the birthplace of our voice. The black egg and the fifth chakra. The subtle essence of this card res resides at the base of the throat at the Vishuddha chakra. The ancient sages saw this center as the hub that governs our speech and expression. Vishuddha translates as especially pure. The balance of this center is important for all of us, but is essentially, especially essential for writers, editors, musicians, and teachers. Mm -hmm. I'm not really getting anything else with that. Divine Masculine. So there you go. Divine Feminine, you got Panther. Panther. I love this card. I love Panthers. I just love big cats. And Panther was one of my spirit totems. It's actually one of my spirit guides. Mm -hmm. But Panther, Annihilation of the Unnecessary, Purging. The panther won't stand to see our growth or energy stagnate. Instead, it pounces into our lives and causes all kinds of havoc with the ultimate intention of bringing us towards more fulfilling lives. It's unexpected, uncomfortable, and sometimes feels devastating. But after all the dust clears, it's easy to see the panther's wisdom at work. We've all been through these experiences, and they've made us better people. Trust that the panther's journey always leads to a brighter place. When in balance, Panther is brave and productive. When out of balance, Panther is self-destructive. To bring into balance, get rid of the unnecessary. What were we talking? We were talking about that. Purging, decluttering, clearing your mind. I'm telling y'all, these truth, these cards are the truth. I said these 22, 22 on the counter, these cards are the truth. I said these cards are the truth. <laughs> okay. The uh shadow dynamic of the relationship is octopus. Octopus. Where are you at, octopus? Come on. There you are. Reaching, yearning, lacking boundaries and direction. The octopus signifies a wonderfully perceptive mind paired with a lack of healthy boundaries. Unfortunately, this results in well-intended but messy relationships. The octopus entwines itself into other people's business and shares their own without restraint. They believe that's what it means to be close. If you notice, after spending time with someone that you feel drained or uneasy, the essence of octopus is at play. Begin to establish healthy boundaries. Be patient and firm. It may be a very old habit to change. When in balance, octopus is interested, engaged, and intelligent. When out of balance, octopus is needy, clingy, and lacks courage. To bring into balance, one, must, one, one needs space to oneself and maybe some talk therapy. That is an interesting and obscure message because I wasn't really picking up on that here, but what I'm, what I'm getting is that this is guidance from the outside. Um, this is guidance for both of the twins saying, just maintain your boundaries at this point. Because like I said before, we are in, we're in the thick of this war, y'all, okay? And there could be some people around you that don't, have your best intentions in mind and may even be trying to get to weasel their way into your life and get some specifics about you to try and derail you now i'm not saying that to, to like to scare anybody i but i mean hey forewarned is forearmed okay that's really the message of octopus right now and the illuminated dynamic of the relationship <clears throat> is snake this is one of my favorite cards it's so gorgeous Snake, 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 
<laughs> As you can tell, guys, I'm in a really awesome mood here. Snake, here we go. Guardian of unawakened magic and creative potential. The snake is a symbol of our highest potential. It is said that Shakti, our creative life force, lies dormant at the base of our spine in the form of a coiled snake. Regardless of whether this image reads true for you, it's well worth considering the amount of unawakened, unawakened or untapped potential within. What would life look like if you woke it up? How could you stir it from slumber? An experienced yoga or meditation teacher can lead the way. Make haste. The snake cards appears when there is no more time to waste. When in balance, snake is prosperous, creative, and charismatic. When out of balance, snake starts and stops many things. To bring into balance, uh, one would benefit from kundalini yoga or meditation. And look at that. Wasn't I just suggesting to the divine feminine that she meditate? Mm-hmm. Yoga. Uh, movement of any sort. You could do kundalini yoga if you like. Um, movement of any sort, walking, getting out in nature, meditating, decluttering, decluttering your space, decluttering your mind, decluttering your energetic body, yes. Um, that would be beneficial for both masculine and feminine at this period in time. All right, guys. So there is your reading. Yeah, I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much. God, my hair is a mess, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. Much love to you all. And I look forward to reconnecting with you guys in our next conversation next week. Mwah! Take care. Bye, guys.